this is a very relevant question and uh, if you see PCI just relieves the obstruction, it leaves the coronary obstruction, it does not retard atherosclerosis. So disease will occur again and to stop the disease, to stop the progression of disease or to retard the atherosclerosis process, you need to bring the LDL cholesterol levels down. If you see the ESC guidelines, they recommend that every AS, uh, any patient who has atherosclerotic coronary artery disease or cardiovascular disease, his LDL should be less than 55 mg per deciliter. And if you see the recent LAI guidelines, Lipid Association of India, which is coming in a big way, you will find that the target LDL levels in a patient who has established CAD should be less than 50 mg per deciliter. So to achieve that, statins are probably not sufficient alone. Even if we give high dose statins, that, that decreases LDL by almost 50%. But majority of the Indian patients, in fact, we have got a lot of data on that. We are doing a lot of research on how optimally patients achieve the LDL cholesterol levels. And we have found that majority of our patients patients, their LDL levels are still way above 70, which was a previously mentioned target by the ACC. So if we want to bring these levels down to the target levels as per ESC or as per LAI, we want other non-statin agents also. That will ensure two things, that will bring the LDL further down. Suppose you add azitamide, you find 60% reduction in, ad in addition to statins. And similarly, if you add bempidoic acid, which has been introduced in India by a lot of companies, Cadillac has also introduced Belmore. So if you add th these drugs, probably you will have LDL reduction of the tune of around 60 to 70%. So that is the only way with which, because PCSK, Inhibitors are very costly, still not easily available in India. So these are the non these non-statin drugs are very very useful. We should start using them as more as possible, and that is the only way we can bring the LDL levels down to less than 55 or 50 as per the guidelines. And probably that is the way to go in future. One thing which I would like to highlight is that use of statin. I really. Uh, encouraged a lot of use of statins in my just previous question but one thing is very very important because statins cause a lot of side effects a lot of people have myalgias so if you increase the dose above 20 suppose you are giving 40 mg of uh, rosuvastatin or 80 mg of atorvastatin you will find that a lot of patients will complain of statin associated muscle symptoms so probably these are the patients in whom if you add drugs like azitamide or bempidoic acid probably you can decrease the dose of statins and these non-statin drugs will help you achieve your LDL targets and without without any significant muscle symptoms. So if the, you can develop the combination of pempidoic acid and azitamide, probably nothing will be able to beat that as far as LD reduction is concerned and with lesser side effects of statins. Mm -hmm.